Blessings to each and everyone out there. Let me first give thanks and praise unto the Father, His Majesty the King. First guidance and protection is grace and mercy. Wonderful everlasting love and to know that without Him nothing is possible, but all things are possible through Him. I continue to pray for His grace each and every day of my life. To cover my children, dear children, my family and my friends, and all loved ones, and even to ones who I don't know. May God continue to bless, keep, guide, and protect each and every one out there. I want to say happy holidays to each and every one. I know the Christmas is already gone, but we still have a few more days before the new year. I know if you're like me, I always try to do better each year that goes by. And uh, I did good this year. 2017 and I'm hoping and praying well I am I hoping and praying I have the faith and I know that there's God and he's real and if he should carry me through to see 2018 as he bring me through 2017 I pray that he will continue to bring me through for 2018 and if there's 2019 there I'll take it just the same but I leave all things up to him and I put my faith and my trust in him and only him, only the most I. So welcome to How Can I Help Speak on this channel and this is Murphy. What are we going to talk about tonight? Well, I want to close the year on positive vibe. So I receive a video today of a lady who done a good deed and the good deed that she has done Many people has done it before. Some we know about, some we don't know about. But I plan to start highlighting some of these people and these videos what I get and to let, let it go, let it out there. Use my platform to do the things that I said I'm gonna do. Motivate, share, and you know, see what can be done out there. Each one teach one, and the more we do good, is the more good go follow us. Bad comes, oh yeah. But we always put God first. We don't get God mixed up with other things. We put Him first at all times. Before I get into this video that this lady did this good deed on Christmas Day, I want to apologize to my viewers and subscribers for a recent video that I had made. And it seems like I was strained drifting a little bit from well a few of my viewers and subscribers kind of got that seems like I was drifting a bit well I am not drifting but like I said some topics I will do a video on I won't dwell on it but I will do a video on it and you know put my piece on it and let it be so bear with me and don't think that I am drifting from all the positiveness that I said I'm gonna stick with and stay away from negative stuff all right so again I want to apologize not drifting no this channel will forever be the channel that I created to be and that's how it's gonna stay until whenever time I decided I ain't gonna do it no more all right so let's jump into the good deed on Christmas Day. All right. So listen to what this lady did on Christmas Day. Let me turn on some light. But I did this. I'm making this for myself. I'm just working today, Christmas Eve. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. Sorry, my and bad. Christmas Eve, not Christmas Day. He tells me that there is a young man who is stealing stuff, and he has his pockets bulging, and, and tells me what he looks like, and I go out, and I see him, of course, and he's got stuff bulging out of his pant pockets and his sweatshirt, and I approached him and said, you know, do you need help with anything? Are you doing okay? And he said, yeah, yeah, and he didn't. He just looked distraught, and he started 
started for the door and I said, I said, sir, please don't leave. And he walked out the door. So I followed him to the sidewalk and I thought, okay, you're not supposed to follow me any farther than that. So I, I, I stopped and then I went around the corner and he was standing in his, uh, next to the car, in his truck. So I went to take a picture of his license plate and he said, he stood in front, he came back and stood in front of it. And he said, um, he said, please don't do that. Please don't do that. And I said, well, I'm going to call. I said, I will call the police if you don't give me my merchandise back. I said, I don't care about what's going on. I said, just give me my merchandise back. And he said, will, will you please not call the police? And I said, if you bring it in and you let me have the merchandise, then we'll call it even. And he said, okay. He said, but can we do it someplace where people don't stare at me? And I said, sure, we'll go over in the corner. So it took, went over there, and he started, I got two baskets, and he started pulling out merchandise. And he pulled out toys and candy and Christmas items and bows and tape and a couple little decorations. And I said, is this stuff for your kids for Christmas? And he, he teared up, and he said, yeah, I don't have any money to get him anything. And I said, how many kids do you have? And he said, three. And he said, well, I have two, but I'm also taking care of my nephew. I said, okay. So he said, he kept pulling things out. And I had two basket, carry baskets full. Of, and I said, okay, follow me. And he, and he just kind of looked at me funny, but he followed me up. And I had, I went up to the checkouts and I had to sue at the checkouts, um, ring everything up for him. And I said, I'm going to get this stuff for you because I don't want you to go to jail on Christmas Eve. I don't want your kids to be devastated that you're not there for Christmas and I don't want you to go to another store and, and, and get yourself in trouble. I just don't want that to happen. And I, I was fine. I didn't cry or anything. I was so, I was so calm. And then he went over and sat down by the window and he started to cry. So we rang him up and it was about $75 worth. And then a lady behind him, I don't think she knew really what was going on, but she said, do you need some other things? And he said, no. And he was crying. He said, no, I I'm fine. And she, she took him into the store. She said, let's go buy some, let's go, let's go look, let's go buy some other things. I don't know how much she ended up buying for him, but she went through and she got him some things. And when that young man left, his arms were full of packages and wrapping paper. And he came over and. I didn't want to be there when he left because I didn't want to make a big scene about it, make him feel bad. But he came over to the office and he knocked on the door and he was crying and he said, thank you so much for doing this for me. He said, I can't believe this has happened. And his name is Sean. And I said, Sean, please. I said, please don't do anything on Christmas Eve to go to jail. I said, just go home and wrap your gifts. And I had a $25 gift card in my in my purse for a friend for uh, Walmart, and I said, I said one more thing. I said, I gave him a gift card, and I said, go to Walmart and get you some, something for Christmas dinner. I said, I don't know what your situation is, but surely you can pick up something. And he cried, and he left. He said, I just can't believe this is happening, and he left. And if I had not, if my assistant had not been late, I would have, I would have not got to, I would have missed this completely. I would have missed this opportunity. And don't, I don't want anyone to ever tell me there's not a God. <laughs> there is a God. And he works in the most amazing way. And he's touched me today out of the blue. And I, I'm not even a real religious person. But That's all God is. He doesn't care who you he are. You can feel it in your heart. That's all there is doesn't to it. Care. You can feel it in your heart. Yes, people. You know, just add a little piece to that. I I want to pick up my children some stuff for the holiday. And on my way, when I pick up this stuff and, you know, coming back home, I started to think and I'm like, you know, the things that parents do to make their children happy. Some of us parents go out of our way 
try to make our children happy. No, I ain't gonna say this man is a bad person. He didn't go out there trying to kill nobody. Even though thou shalt not steal. But when your kids need food, and you know you ain't got it, you know you ain't got it, you know you're doing things that you don't want to do, or you're on the verge of doing things that you don't want to do. But then guess what? Here comes the angel flying in. God is good. And without him we are nothing. But with him we are all things. God bless this lady for her good deed that she did. Like she said, she's not a religious person. But it doesn't have to be a religious person. If something inside of you say do something, you should do it. Because the, the minute you let it and say, you know, I'm gonna do I'll do it the next time or whatever it is, that next time may not come around. And who knows what you pass upon. I say it before I'm gonna say it again. God is good, and without him. We are nothing. A lot of people don't want to accept it and don't want to believe in it. But I ain't telling you to go believe in no man and I ain't preaching to nobody out there. But I just want you to understand that when your heart starts to speak to you, man, and you start feeling things, <laughs> don't pass up the good things that you're supposed to do for tomorrow. Whatever you can do today, do it. Because we may never see tomorrow. Alright? So with that said, Happy Holidays again. Happy New Year. Blessings on each and everyone out there. Big up and may God bless you for everything that you do. Going into the New Year, continue your good deeds. Never stop. Peace and love. Leave your comments. Continue to subscribe to this channel. And I will continue. Continue. Stick with positive stuff. At all times. Alright. Peace and love.